Hybrid clouds aren't always going to be cheaper. So anyway, this is going to be a big uh, deal, I think, over the next few years as people are wrestling with looking at a hybrid cloud infrastructure as really kind of their target environments now, where a few years ago, everybody was saying we're moving everything into the public cloud providers and you know, hybrid cloud really wasn't going to be a thing. And many of the public cloud providers were pushing back on hybrid cloud as, as well. Now that we're embracing it, enterprises are embracing it, and they're doing so with the assumptions that it's going to be uh, better uh, cost optimistic for them. In other words, their ability to leverage uh, money in ways that are going to bring more value back to the business. But in many cases, it's not. Hybrid cloud is not always going to be cheaper. In many cases, it's going to be more expensive. I think enterprises are not necessarily good at understanding what the opportunities are and how to solve some of the problems. Certainly, your ability to identify some of the cost advantages and disadvantages of leveraging hybrid cloud. Obviously, the reason I'm making this video, enterprises none too good at it. In many cases, they're screaming bloody murder because they're getting these huge cloud bills after deployment to a hybrid cloud environment because they're making some of these core mistakes. The reality is we don't have to make the mistakes. Get the people that you need around you to make these uh, sound architectural decisions and ultimately just be very realistic about what this stuff's going to cost. All in cost, not just the cost of the you know, public cloud services, um, but the consultants, the operations, the uh, people you're going to have to hire, uh, your ability to manage licenses, your ability to deal with ingress and egress costs. All that stuff has a tendency to be overwhelming for many enterprises out there, and it doesn't have to be. 